This is my Dyson DC-25. I have had this for, well, it seems like forever. And this among, as far as I understand, the most reliable of Dysons ever made. I don't know that they still make them like this. I've heard that they're just not as longevous as they used to be, if that's even a word. But this has worked well for me, you know, all the stuff, bagless and all that. But it is plastic and you can see I cleaned this for a video a month or so ago and I've used it in my kitchen and in a back bedroom and just a little bit of use that much dust has accumulated and you can see where it comes out I mean look down in there that's just all this moves and that's you know that's just part of a plastic vacuum cleaner plastic does have its downsides there used to be a little brush that was on this that broke off there was another accessory that I had that broke I've had multiples, I mean multiples of this hose. Pull this up, Let's see if I can do it while I'm seated here. Yeah, this little hose clips in here like so, and you can replace the hose, which again, I've had to do multiple times. As a matter of fact, the last time I bought a hose, this is an aftermarket, and I learned to just buy the aftermarket ones. They last, well, this part will break after a few years. But what ends up happening on the actual Dyson branded ones, like this one, which is an actual Dyson, and you can see that snapped there, even though the hose is thicker, you can kind of see, well, actually you can't see, but I can feel it, just feeling the two. This is clearly aftermarket, this is thicker, and it has more spring tension to it, wanting to pop back in, where this one just kind of feels like a cheap slinky. This feels like a good slinky. So that's, it's one of the replacement parts that I've had to do over the years. I put, I think, I thought this was the original brush roller at first, but I got reminded that no, I have replaced the brush roller before. I know I've done this hose. I've lost some accessories just because they've broken. Cause again, plastic, but still being plastic, this has lasted and it has worked well for me. And the reason I think I've got so much life out of this is because I replace the two filters a lot of people know about this one they don't know about that one and in this video i'm going to show you how to do that here's a good sign to show you just how much i've used this look how rounded off that back lip is that used to be flush with the front and it was squared or not squared but had a sharp edge there and now all rounded off that's getting your money's worth out of a vacuum First, filter A, which is part of the canister. It's labeled right here, filter A. I'm pressing the button. I'm going to remove the canister. There you can see the filter A, and there it shows you that it is washable. You're supposed to do this every three months, at least every three months. And after you wash it, you're supposed to let it sit in the sun for 24 hours before you put it back in. So that incapacitates your vacuum for 24 hours. We want to access this filter. I'm going to pull up on this tab and I'm going to lift. And you can see how that opens up. And there's the used filter, the old filter. Let me pull it out. It just pulls straight up. I'm trying to keep this on camera while I'm doing it. And out. And look at that. And this is three a little over three months worth for sure but you can see just the dust down in there but more importantly the air is flowing up through here and this filter is filtering but look at this there is just dusty muck in there i don't know how well you can see that but that is nasty that's getting past the filter that means the cyclonic action's getting the stuff you can see. But this filter, because they're washable filters, they're not as good as a true HEPA filter. And I know they're technically some of these are called HEPA, but if it's washable, it's not filtering. HEPA, they're different standards. But this can only filter so many microns. And enough of that dust is getting through, at least even through the cyclonic action, get this back out again, that that much is getting through to the filter so that tells you one thing about these bagless vacuums, and this is kind of the best of the best bagless. Well, I think there's a Mealy that supposedly is rating a little higher now, but this is an official filter. 
and you can see it's letting dust through so that dust is going back out into the air that we breathe i'm not going to wash this and wait 24 hours even though i have a kirby now that i use and then put this back in i never do wash this because every time you wash a washable filter oh i just saw a puff of puff of dust that i'm inhaling here every time you wash a washable filter you're changing that weave pattern and it's becoming less and less effective and that's how they can sell these units because you got to think vacuum companies used to make their money off bags if they're not making their money off bags they have to be selling you something else more regularly and if they're calling this washable filters they're in my opinion setting up to sell you more vacuums more frequently i would rather buy bags than whole vacuums we can talk about the ecological and environmental concerns with that or we won't talk about that i'm not going to wash this i never do wash these anymore i just buy replacements and i have found that buying the amazon replacements seems to work just as good at least filtration wise than the official dyson stuff I'm not even going to wipe this out because first run it would get just like that again don't even wipe this out so let me get my filter out here out of my bag i'll put a link down in the description that's the ones that i buy i buy a specific specific one from a specific seller but just a look here it looks pretty much the same just cleaner just a lot cleaner there so i'm going to drop this down in here and i always it just it literally and it drops in and presses in and i just put my little tab there my pull tab at the front i shut the lid where it snaps and then i put it back in and that one is done said there were two filters filter b is down here there's a little button where you can access it but i'm going to take this back out and then i'm going to point to these instructions here that you can probably barely see but they are how you open this up and replace the filter even this one is considered to be washable i would never ever especially the motor filter i would never ever wash that i have a trick i hit the red release button just like i was going to vacuum with it and that's going to free up to allow me to easier access the ball and get this off it just pops up press the button and pull and it has a tab on the back here so press this button pull up and there's a tab and that opens up let me see if i can give you a better shot of this there it is that is our filter and this too has a release button that allows it to just press and pull right out and i'm going to be honest this looks really good probably not in need of replacement i can barely see any dust in there but i've already bought a new one and that's how I've kept this going for, I mean, I think like 15 years. Let's see if there's a date code on this thing here. There doesn't appear to be, but it doesn't really matter. We're talking about longevity. And yeah, you know, new filter on the left here, old filter on the right. Yeah, you can see it. So you can see on this side. Yeah, definitely a color difference. So I'm going to take my new filter. It has a rubber seal here. I'm just going to take it and it just simply slides down in there and clicks into place that's it then i'm going to take my cover i'm going to put this rear tab back in its slot and then press inward to get this to pop in and then down and there we go that's the ball Ooh, that's kind of fun kind of like a bingo wheel that's the ball let me open it back up here get it upright b filter in place a filter we've already replaced that so i'm going to get that put back in here and there we go the dyson is ready for action again and that's how i've kept it functional for so long the dyson dc 25 still going though now secondary duty because my kirby is the main vacuum you know made videos on that these plastic vacuums these bag lists just don't do what a kirby can do and i have seen that in action i actually have a video coming up on that where i've compared the two on a dirty dirty carpet and it's impressive what the kirby can do but that's not to say i haven't got my money's worth out of this dyson because i absolutely have i really have 
and I have enjoyed it, so I guess there's that. That's this video on filter replacement rather than washing and replacing, and how I believe that keeps the motor alive longer. Comment below if you've experienced the same thing. Thanks for watching and have a great day.